Good evening, Delbert High administration, faculty, family, friends, and fellow, fellow graduating members of the class of 2012. I want to quickly extend my final thank you to all the teachers, coaches, faculty, parents, and anyone else who has helped the class of 2012 finally get to this graduation day. I also want to once again congratulate my classmates, the class of 2012, on their accomplishment today. The long-awaited day is finally before us, and it is crazy to think how 18 years of guidance, 13 years of education, and the past four years of high school have gotten us to this very one day. I've actually been in this uh, amphitheater one other time in my life, and unfortunately it was for the 2007 Jonas Brothers concert. <laughs> And five years later, I'm standing on the same stage, except today my audience isn't thousands of screaming, adoring 12-year-old girls, but instead 365 proud, accomplished, graduating seniors. I find giving this speech especially difficult at a high school like Dublin High. A school where every student is special in his or her own way and possesses unique qualities unlike anyone else. I believe that every student in this class has a truly inspirational story to tell. If we could all take the time to listen to them, we could all learn how to improve something about ourselves. Luckily for me, through all the sporting events I participated in, and all the leadership and school activities I've attended, and yes, that one drama tryout Tatum and I went to, I believe that I've heard a lot of the stories from this diverse group of students and developed a good understanding of what this class consists of. With every graduating class, a few questions are asked, like what legacy will this class leave behind, and how would we define the class of 2012? In my own simple terms, I can say the class of 2012 was awesome. We all shared a ton of great memories, learned a lot, and had countless laughs especially the last I shared with my classmates and I in Mr. Wainwright's unforgettable fifth period English class. Our class has also achieved some outstanding accomplishments over the past four years. For, for example, helping Dublin High gain its highest API score ever, sending 98% of our students to colleges, some as prestigious as the University of Chicago and Stanford, having almost all our sports teams compete in NCS this season, and even helping our high school become the 12th ranked school in the country. Okay, even if those numbers were a little inaccurate, they still sound good. But 20 years from now, we won't be defined by these accolades. In fact, I think the essence of the class of 2012 is still left to be defined, because time will only show how valuable these friendships were and how we were able to translate the knowledge into successful careers in the world. Maybe these friendships will start to be defined from the very first time we all meet back up again and can share some of the funny stories the world has thrown at us. Or maybe it will be defined 15 years from now when that one kid that you used to share everything with in the back of math class calls you up and simply needs someone to talk to because his or her parent has just passed away. All I know is that 20 years from now, at one of our class reunions, I hope to see all my friends and classmates succeeding in life becoming doctors, engineers, tattoo artists, musicians, generals in the Marine Corps, whatever career they learn to grow passionate about. Only then will our class truly be defined as the class of 2012, the class that was able to take all that they have learned at Dublin High and make an enormous impact on the world. Famous UCLA basketball coach John Wooden once said, success is never final, failure is never fatal, it is only courage that counts. Our life ahead of us will be filled with many ups and downs, but no matter whether life takes you north, south, east, or west, as long as you are moving forward with a courageous heart to pursue your passion, you will succeed. I want to thank, once again, all my classmates for giving me these past four years because they are very special and memorable to me, and I wish you all the very best of luck in the future. Thank you.